Now. <laughs> All right. Oh, may the team to rock the road. I would like for this council to also to be mindful. They have time restraints as well as speaking. So if you want others to follow the norms, you follow them as well. So you spend 15 and 20 minutes up here speaking, whatever. Resolution, I mean the charter says 108 of the charter. I implore you to read it. Every legislation that is passed in a permanent nature shall be advertised or whatever. So you're derelict in that responsibility. It must be advertised or whatever. We went to the uh, media, we had that. So it is not being done, so you're in violation of that uh, as well. <clears throat> and I'm not cognizant as to whom have written this legislation. It is, it is to me, it is totally, the grammar is something else. Which legislation? I'm going to give it to you. 3812 <coughs> says a resolution authorizing the mayor to transfer to Euclid Lee Company at a total cost of 2500 What are you transfer? What are you authorizing them to transfer? It should be read a resolution authorizing the mayor to, uh, where is it? A land or whatever, the partial land to whomever to leave whatever. So that's the way the legislation should have been written. It's written backwards. So whoever's doing the legislation is doing it. Okay, poor job. And, and so this is another one of the reasons where council should have, I mean, the audience should have an opportunity to speak at the beginning of the meeting as it has always been as far as legislation and stuff of this nature because it, it does impact the citizen of this community. And you operate at the behest and you legislate at the behest of the people of this community. And I want you to be mindful of that. Then you put the cot time before, is up, sir. You put the cot before the horse. My time always up when I start talking about this. You put the cot before the horse and you put us at the end. We should be at the beginning. Your time and is up, also sir. speak at the end of the meeting how you react on the legislation. Thank you, Mr.